Good morning. This is the No News Minutes. We're going to start off with entertainment. Now, Ice T is married to this lady named Coco. My sources tell me Ice T divorced his wife for this lady who has not been faithful to Ice T from day one. Now, he want her to give up the ass and the titties. He paid for them implants and he said he want those implants back. But I was also reading this morning where he decided he's not gonna divorce her. He's gonna continue to try real hard to turn her into a housewife, regardless of what anybody else say. He said he know he can do this thing. He know he can make her into a housewife. He just have to put a little bit more effort into it. He, he said if he can give her some double D, triple D cups and a 42 inch round, but he know he can turn her into a housewife. Way to go, Ice-T, keep trying. Now we're gonna move on to sports. How about, I can't even say his name. My, my, my Michael, Michael Jordan. Them been cheating on me and why need her. How he gonna do some stuff like that and them got caught. Got a 16-year-old sewing out there. Somebody said she taking a paternity test. She know if it is or not. He know if it is or not. He know he been there. How dare he sneak out on me? What's up with this man? How he gonna do so? I don't play no mess like that, Michael. You know better than that. But he here now 16 years, so you might as well get ready to pay the piper. Mm-hmm. Exactly, honey. Get him for some of that money. Exactly. 16 years, he should have been paying child support. What you waiting on? Now you got to get to all at once. You you should have been handling your business, Michael. What you waiting on? You know you got the boy. I'm quite sure this ain't the first time she done told you about it. Mm -hmm. I just had a flashback. One of them 3 a.m. dreams. Oh, my goodness, Michael. Mm -hmm. What about Tiger Woods and his wife supposedly are reconciling their marriage? They're going to try and get back together. This woman hit him with a golf club, caused damages to a vehicle, didn't spend not one day in jail. If that had been me, Getting all psychotic and swinging upside somebody with a golf club, assaulting them with a weapon, I'd have went to jail. I would have ended up in the jailhouse. Why she didn't do two hours? She didn't even do the, did they even book her? Did, they, did the police even settle down and have a word with her? No, they were high-fiving her. You go, girl. You go, girl. What kind of society is we living in where you can hit a man with a golf club and get away with it? I kind of like that idea. But still, nonetheless, why did she get away with it? Okay? Why she wasn't booked or something? Come on now. Eddie Murphy wife, ex-wife, Nicole Blue, 15 million is what I heard. Seven million her ex-boyfriend up and run off with. I don't care if it was a bad investment, an investment that bailed it up. He knew what he was doing in the first place. Seven million dollars, come on. Girl, I could have took a million and did a little bit more with it than what you did. What is you doing with that kind of money? Where your mind at, honey? What was you thinking about? How you gonna give seven million dollar to a boyfriend? I bet you I couldn't even roll up on you and say, let me get 20. What's up, girl? What's up? He must got that good stuff. That good, good stuff. Mm, that stuff that'll put you to sleep when you don't wanna go. Girl, send him over here. I can work with that and that's seven million too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she's been dating Michael. Michael is on the show with Kelly Ripple now. 
Anyway, my source is telling me that Michael wants her to sign a prenuptial agreement and I couldn't agree more with him. I'm usually like, I'm gonna sign on a prenup, no, no. But after I heard how she blew through 15 million, you better get her to sign two prenups, honey. And you better tuck some money somewhere other than in between the mattress cause she gonna be spinning like crazy. You doing the right thing. And you better get her an alliance. If you don't know, she gonna go through all yours and some more. I'm just saying, 15 million since 2006. What's that, six years, seven years, and 15 million? Can somebody give me a million and let's see how I can handle a million dollars? Okay, anyway, what's the Harlem Shake? Is that it? I don't know, I don't have a clue. <sighs> All right, we've been having a lot of trouble with crew. We're gonna move on to travel. Okay, we just got through done with music, the Harlem Shake. Okay, might I A. Traveling, traveling. Been wanting to take a cruise for a long time now, but they been having a lot of problem with the cruise ship. Ever since that captain wrecked that ship and abandoned it and left them people out, John, he didn't even try to help evacuate. He on the shows all wet and dripping and these people out, John, are going down with his ship. High treason. Make him walk the plank, I say. They need to take him back to the pirating days. Stand his ass out there on the plank and make him walk that plank. Don't sit him down before no judge and no jury. Put his ass on the plank and make and let that be his judge and jury. Wrong with him. What are you thinking about? Okay, we're going to move on to disgusting news right now. Okay. The ex-director of the Fugees, Aswad Awaidi, Awaidi, the former Fugees director, should be behind bars. If he out on bail, then I really question the judicial system these days. Do you know that this man was having sex with three of his daughters? They impregnated his children? This man has six children with his daughters and delivered the babies himself. What kind of household was them people living up in? The wife got on the witness stand and said it was horrible. It was hor Did you not have a telephone? Couldn't nobody call outside the house. Did he have them barred in and chained to the beds and stuff so that they couldn't leave? What was going on inside of this house? Were the children not going to school? People didn't find something odd about something that was going on in the house. Did the family ever get out? What was going, that's, that's sickening. What was going on here? Children need to be able to get out so they can vent, so they can tell when stuff like that going on. Incestuous behavior like that. He started, I think, with one of the little girls when she was eight years old. What kind of sick, twisted man he is. You know what they need? To? Castration. Castration. Don't just take off. The Frank, you go ahead on and remove the beans too. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move, I think, to movies. We're going to see what's playing out there. I saw a clip of Jack and the Giant Slayer. Jack the Giant Slayer. Look to be promising. I saw it on, I viewed a trailer on this at this website called AMC Theaters. There's this movie theater in Buckhead that's called Fork and screen. This is a very nice movie theater that I plan on att attending soon. My friend girls and I, we're going to go up in here. You got recliners in this place in a tray that sits in front of you. When you want to order your food, you just turn around and you press a button and your waitress will come over there to you. They sell cocktails. They got menu all kind of foods on the menu so we're gonna go over there and sample this place and see what it's like i hope they don't charge you to get in the door ain't no telling how much a movie gonna be so i need to save a couple of nickels and three pennies so i can get up in that place because it, it sound expensive because from looking they didn't even have a price for the drinks 
that's scary when you don't have a price that means you better be to save two quarters to go with them pennies okay moving right along in florida a man was swallowed in a sinkhole while sleeping in his bedroom at night the other occupants of the house managed to get out but this man was sucked straight into the sinkhole his brother dove in to save him but he was unsuccessful in his attempt the house and some of the surrounding houses are on unsafe structurals that don't understand what's going on why they but you are on the coast of the water and when you build your house on water then you have to kind of imagine that the foundation is not as solid as you would want it to be as if you build your house further inland which a lot of people are putting their houses on, on, on the edges of the water. People can't go fishing anywhere anymore. The things that people were able to do to bring food into their house, that's just we can run over here and we can go fishing right here. Well, you can't go fishing over here no more because somebody got their house sitting over here on the water. And then your house sank in a hurricane, hit it, and you want to cry foul play with Mother Nature when Mother Nature said you knew you were putting your house over here on the edges in the shores before you even put your house here. And then you're going to sit your house out on a cliff and then you want to say where the cliff is rolling away. Well, what you think? What you think? Get some sense, people, please. Look good sitting all up on the edges of the water. Now get your houses off the edge of the water so people can go on and fish and do stuff like that that they supposed to. Just a natural thing. But people can't fish no more. And then you got signs way out in the water talking about you can't even, your boat can't even roll crabs. This is private water. Anyway, that does it for the news around the United States of America this morning. It's chilly outside. I think it's snowing in some places. Send us a little bit of that snow so I can sit inside and look out my window and some beautiful white snow. Y'all have a blessed day. Teach your children how to plant a garden. We need to learn how to plant a garden. We need to get back to agriculture. We need to grow our own food. That will help alleviate a whole lot of the health problems that we currently encounter. Don't use pesticides and miracle Grow on your food. If you put miracle Grow in your food, you're going to wonder why you're mysteriously growing so big. Because your food, if that's what it takes to grow the food, it's going to grow you the same way. Let your children plan to go and show them a heap of stuff. Get out there, dig in the dirt. They love to play in the dirt. And we supposed to play in the dirt. We're supposed to get in there and get our fingers all grimy. And and if if all of a sudden we can't get food anymore, the the store shelves and the shelves are empty. What are we gonna do? We don't know how to plant a garden. We don't know how to harvest a crop. We don't know how to sow seeds. And, and some people have never. Pull the apple off a tree for they self. It's the most exhilarating experience to pick that apple or that pear off that tree or, or make some pear preserves or something home, homemade. It's so delicious. Invest in agriculture. Be sweet. Have a wonderful day.